Hey guys, uh, this is going to be uh, our video for Milsom West uh, attack on Durbend in Farmington, Missouri on October 16 and 18. Uh, this is going to be our bare essentials and what we're typically going to carry. We don't have everything that's on the, the uh, attack saw checklist, uh, but for the most part this is enough for us to survive if we were to go this weekend. All right, start things off. Uh, I have my Eagle Yote assault pack. Uh, right now it's clipped into my Mystery Ranch three-day assault pack where it's hooked them with uh, swift clips. So I just need to unhook those and then put them to carry when I'm on patrol. Uh, I'm gonna go over that really quick. <clears throat> so it's an Eagle Yote, made in USA, uh, in my helmet bag here because I will be running nods at this event. And since it's in the fall, it's going to be a little bit cold, so I have my helmet for nods, and then I have my PCU packed into here, so it's nice and uh, low profile. Uh, in the main compartment, I have my PRC 152 right here. Uh, this is we're not we're not supposed to carry radios, but you know just in case if whatever happens, we just. Uh, if we need to get in contact with uh, our other squad mates, or um, perhaps maybe our squad leader, if we just get disconnected, or if we just want to communicate within our squad with like a private channel or anything like that, we can do that. Uh, and then I'm also carrying uh, an extra cam because I am running tag rounds. And I have an extra optic, and the reason why I'm carrying an extra optic is because uh, right now I have a uh, short dot on, on my rifle, and that's going to be for daytime use, and then once it hits nighttime, um, I'll be putting this on and then putting my optic back into here. I'm running a 3 liter hydro inside here. Uh, right now uh, it's actually inside this one. So that is it for my yoke. So I have my um, modular sleep system. It's got, uh, it came with a below zero uh, degree uh, sleeping bag as well as a like above 45 degree where it's not, you know, it won't cook you in it. Uh, and then it also came with the um, compression bag. So right now I have it hooked up here. I have a sleeping mat here. It's gray, so I'll be using the gray portion. I have to flip it, um, put that under it, and then I can sleep comfortably. Uh, I have a, um, I forgot what this was, a nail gene uh, bottle for water. I have extra water. You have to supply your own water, but um, they're gonna give you water there, but I wanna have like my own. I also have a camel bag right here. So this is like a reserve water tank for when I'm back at at base and not on patrol. Uh, so I have the Mystery Ranch here. It's a three, three day assault pack, tri-zip. So in here I don't have much currently. I have my MSR stove. Um, it's great, great uh, small little compact stove. I just, everything just fits inside. I've got the fuel, I've got the burner. Let me demonstrate this for you really quick. And then, you're done. And you start cooking. You boil water and everything like that. Um, at base, I'm going to carry my sidearm, even though I have uh, my 320 on my belt. But I'll keep this just in case, you know, if we come into contact, and I'll have my rifle with me. But I'm going to keep my bag, probably going to use my bag as a pillow. And then I have any Arcteryx, um, waterproof uh, Gore-Tex jacket, so it'll be, uh, this is for camp use, I have my PCU for the field use, uh, so if it rains, hopefully it doesn't, I have this on hand. Um, I have two three liter hydro, so I'm gonna keep one inside here, and then a one in my assault pack, so then one can stay at base and it's just filled with water, so when I get back, I just have a lot of water. I have a toothbrush, Simple stuff. I have a waterproof bag for my clothes. I haven't packed those yet. So that's it for that. In the bib up here, I will be keeping uh, my wallet, uh, extra battery for my phone, camera, um, like my, the contour. Uh, that's it for in there. Titanium spoon, spork. So when uh, you just eat. You know, your uh, mountain house, that's what I'm gonna be using, MRE. And then I have uh, my camera um, in a Pelican case. 
And then I have a, I think I have a Arcteryx beanie and a Arcteryx uh, night gator. So if it does get cold, which I don't think is going to get that cold where I need it, but it's there just in case. I have an extra bottle of Fog Tech. What's up guys, it's uh, Singh here. Just going to go over uh, kind of like the gear or my rucksack that I'll be uh, wearing at Milsom West, uh, Assault on Durbant. This is a uh, LBT uh, 1476A. I am, for ear problem, going to be using Sordens, uh, thanks to our buddy Frank. For uh, our sleep system, or my sleep system, it's going to be the USGI sleeping system. It comes with a, a Bivy negative 20 uh, whatever layer, and then there's all these other layers to it. It was actually really cheap, 70 bucks. <clears throat> That's perfect. For inside the bag, for his pocket, are pretty much all my tools. Uh, I have two propane tanks for my stove, and inside I have a spork. I have a fire starter, and then I have the stove. So it's pretty awesome, very uh, low profile. And here I have a multi-tool that I will be mounting on my belt, because you never know when you might need one. Roll of duct tape. Just in case we need to take a poop, I have a little shovel. <laughs> uh, chem lights. I have a headlamp that does not have a low light uh, or a red light for it, so I might have to get some tape of some sort to do that. I also have a compass, just in case, you never know. Waterproof bag for uh, pretty much my phone, my wallet, anything that I need to make sure you know to stay dry. And of course you need a first aid. This has uh, anywhere from bug spray to bandages to gauze, all that fun stuff. I have some cord, pens, lights. I have a big pot that also has, uh, there's coffee here, there's oatmeal, uh, what else, there's tea, so pretty awesome setup. And I also have a lamp in the big pocket. I have hydros. So I'm going to be carrying a couple of these in my bag and in my uh, my play carrier that's to my left. I have two mountain mountain house. Uh, I will be carrying another one just in case. And I will also be having a box of kind bars or cliff bars. I know I haven't decided yet. Just a cord. I have a PCU Pedaguchi. I'll keep this in my assault bag for my uh, <laughs> for my AVS. I have more waterproof bags. I also have a handsaw because apparently we can uh, fortify our positions. Uh, so it's gonna be really interesting actually being able to dig holes and you know it's kind of yeah chilling. I have a poncho. Uh, we might actually use this for our fortified position, just in case if it rains or if something happens. It's awesome that it's green too. Doesn't stick out like most things do. And the last thing I have in here is Shugu, which can waterproof and repair gloves and boots. So uh, I actually use these on my Merrells because the bottom of them, they actually came out uh, when I was in Romania. So. Kind of sucks. But anyway, I have these just in case. Uh, the only things I'm missing right now is just some hygiene stuff that, you know, I'll, I'll have for the event. But other than that, thanks guys. So guys, so now we're going to go over our load bearing equipment. So this is my uh, ABS. I'm sure you guys have seen it if you watched my uh, loadout video. Just to go over the small, small little details, I guess. Uh, to the right, I have a GP pouch, I have mouth guard, I'll have batteries, uh, a marker just in case, speed loader. I have my mags that I'll be using. I'll have smoke grenades here, more smoke grenades. What else? I have my cry pack, I'll carry anything from 
one mountain head just in case if I need to eat something, or probably kind bars, a whole bunch. Uh, I have my PCU, Pedaguchi, uh, chem lights, anything that I need for when I'm on the field. And we'll go on to uh, genomes. Alright, so starting with the belt, uh, since I am going to be the Grenadier, I do have a M320 mounted on a SNS Precision uh, Kydex holster. And then going across, I have a tier, um, tier tactical uh, GP pouch. Um, I have my tactical tailor dump pouch there. I have a tier tactical um, uh, fast mag here and ESS tag Kydex for my pistol um, pistol mags. Not sure of what I'm going to do with this since I'm not running a pistol on this side, but at um, the FOB I will. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Probably take it out. Probably put like maybe a multi tool in here or um, something. I'm not sure yet. So there's that. Then going on to my load bearing, uh, it's the Mayflower UW Gen 4 Pusher Chest Rig. Uh, I got this on uh, Optactical. Uh, I decided to go to the inside just to have everything um, strong, lightweight um, so that I don't have to like, carry a plate carrier with me. Um, I wasn't too fond of the, the AVS myself, probably going to go back to the JPC. Uh, but so far I ran this in a few like open games, love it. Um, it's a great chest rig. So under it, I have Velcroed a, um, a sword on the man pouch, full on the man pouch. So I'm gonna keep, this is like another GP pouch, I can just keep like miscellaneous stuff. Right now I have a kill rag, where I keep snacks in here. Um, this is the radio pouch, so I'm not carrying a radio because I don't believe I'm going to be the squad leader. Uh, we still have to get that squared away with our commander. Uh, so right now this is just empty. Uh, here, for the front GP pouch, I have the two tag rounds, tag shells that I have here. I might get another one, because uh, I can leave one in the 320. Uh, here, I have a pistol mag. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, because I won't be carrying my pistol. Uh, here, I have two. This is, is going to be my tourniquet, my my fake tourniquet. My MSW, two of my uh, MSW tourniquets are going to be placed in here for quick access. Here, I have two additional... Um, Reaper sh shells. So I'm gonna have a total on my body. There should be one in the gun, three, four, five. So I should have five extra ones, and I'm gonna keep gas in my yoke bag so I can just charge. So that I should be able to launch um, a total of three at once in succession. Here I have uh, this is the eye pack for the Mayflower. Currently, I don't have anything uh, right now. I just need to get like just some simple stuff like some Neosporin band aids. Uh, some gauze, just stuff it in here. Other than that, it's just another giant GP pouch. And then, so utilizing this along with my my yoke bag, this would be this would be a salt pack. Like I said, and uh, that's that was hooked onto my three day salt pack. Uh, this will carry my hydro. This will carry my helmet, extra gas for my um, my three twenty. Uh, and then any other BB bag of BBs I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna stuff it in here. So this is this is gonna be great to use for um, for anything that I find in the field. Get extra ammo, get maybe some intel. I just stuff it in here. Great to carry my helmet. So when when we're out there, I just grab my helmet, put the nods. The nods are gonna go in here too. Um, and uh, for guns, I will be using my TM Scar H. I have a uh, Spectre DR on it, Peg 15, dual switch, light, all that jazz, and. Uh, Blue four skier sling. Nothing has really changed with this. So since I'm using PBS 14s, um, I decided to pick up a um, D ball, a mini D ball from Amped Airsoft when they were uh, at the Milwaukee Project in Wisconsin. Uh, just because they, I, a friend told me that they had tag rounds and there's like a hazmat thing with shipping, so I didn't want to deal with that. So I, I w drove up to Milwaukee, and bought it. Um, and then they had this, and then uh, since I'm running nods, I will be, this has IR, so I'm going to be using that. Uh, then I also picked up a replica WMX200 that has a white light and a IR light. It's a great, um, great light, as opposed to my old one, which I use the VFC V3X, which is just a white light. Uh, it has strobe, it's a smart light because you double tap the strobe uh, constant on, and, uh, and it has IR feature. And then on the front end, uh, I I picked up again a a KC can. It's a VFC this time. It's I have it's hooked up to a GMP NG4 flash hider, but uh, the last owner gave away the um, the VFC one that came with it. So that 
So it's a stem, Sistema PTW. Uh, I'm going to be using a short dot in the day and then the EOTech at night time. Just in case I don't use my nods or I don't need to. I, using this optic in the nighttime poses, uh, it's kind of hard. But, and then my sling, I have a Blue Force Gear padded sling in multicam and a Daniel Defense uh, QD sw uh, sling swivel here. I used to have it over here, but since since we're gonna do a lot of patrols, a lot of heavy um, rucking, and I'll, I'll be having this, I'm able to I'm able to just strap it like this, and it just it just hangs on my body. Before, when I had it on the center, it would be up to here, and it was just that's more for like direct action stuff. So running it like this, it's more of a relaxed patrol style, and that's about it.